Welcome to the ESI Africa studio, broadcasting from Ended Africa. Today I am speaking with uh, Sinosi Mariano, who is the Director of Projects and Development at ESCOM Malawi. Welcome to the studio. Thank you, Madam. Thank you. So, uh, Sinosi, I believe that you have over 10 years, even going on for 20 years experience in uh, all aspects of planning and project management. So let's talk a little bit about the, the current projects and the work that ESCOM Malawi is undertaking in order to improve the electrification rates and to achieve, um, uh, I think it is that you're looking for universal elec uh, electrification by 2030. Yes, thank you so much, uh, I think, for the, for the question. Uh, we have uh, a number of projects that we are undertaking in ESCOM. Uh, one of them is the World Bank funded Marawi Electricity Access Project. We are going to do new connections up to 180,000 by next year, 2024, June. Uh, th that figure will bring us up to around 30% uh, 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 electricity access. But besides that, uh, you know that our, our generation part is a bit weak. We are also enforcing by engaging. Uh, our Mozambican counterpart EDM to, to import uh, 120 megawatts into Malawi. Uh, that will also increase uh, the, the, the penetration of uh, power to, 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 to the masses in Malawi. Mm -hmm. But uh, apart from that, you know that even though we have uh, imported and we have the connections, but we need to reinforce our transmission network. We are embarking on uh, uh, improving the eastern, we call it the eastern backbone, mm -hmm. a line that covers from the central region to the northern part of Malawi. Just a background, this line was built in 1981, and it was meant to, 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 to be temporary, <laughs> but it came out to be permanent. But we think that uh, this line, once it's done, uh, it, it will help us import more power to the north, and it also saves us a, a strategic uh, uh, input into the IPPs that are coming in, in, in into the network. Uh, we have a number of solar uh, IPPs that are interested to, to come into the network. So uh, in a nutshell, we can say we are, we are doing fine. For the Eastern Backbone, we are engaging the European Investment Bank and the African Roman Bank to, to, to finance us. Mm -hmm. We are currently at uh, Environmental and Social Impact Studies, which uh, I can comfortably say that we got a grant from the Swede Fund in Norway to carry out the studies, and uh, immediately after that, then we, we go into uh, feasibility studies. Mm -hmm. So all in all, we are, we are on course uh, in, in terms of uh, increasing the access rate. Right. So you've touched a little bit there on uh, renewable energy, and that is so important in terms of decarbonization. So um, this is a focus for ESCOM Malawi. Can we just expand a little bit on that? Yes, I, I, I think the, 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 the issue is that uh, we have the IPP framework uh, that governs how uh, the energy players will be coming into Malawi. Uh, and, and our role in ESCOM is that to open up to, to, to everyone who wants to, to, to give us uh, uh, power in, into the grid. I'll give you an example of the JCM uh, in, in, in Malawi. They have a plant 60 megawatts uh, solar. Uh, without battery, and they have another one, 20 megawatts uh, with battery. And we have a number of uh, Serengeti energy uh, from Kenya. They have come in. So they have their COD very close. So almost uh, this month, then they will be they will be live. And and a number of them that are coming into in, into the, into into the network. But you see, when I tell you about the eastern backbone, this is a strategic line. It's a 132 kV line. Uh, now we need to operate it and have a, a stronger uh, infrastructure there because it's on wood and we want to put it uh, uh, on steel and that's why we have engaged the Uber Investment Bank and, and the African Development Bank. There are about five IPPs on this line. Uh, so you can see how important it is to the IPPs to feed into the grid using this line. No, absolutely. And yeah. you've spoken quite a bit about the transmission infrastructure and how important that is. So let's talk a bit about um, some of the successes that the company has had and what do you attribute this to? Uh, a, a number of uh, issues in the mix. Oh, one of them is uh, the, the resource mobilization strategy. 
you know, being a public utility, and people say, no, we are, looking, we are waiting for government to finance us. But that's not the role. In projects, you have to move around and look for grants. Yes, you have to look for concessional loans, but not so, you have to go for commercial, but you know the interest rates in commercial loans are, are, are a bit high. So we have engaged the EIB, the African Development Bank, Swed Fund, and a number of them that are coming into, the, into play to, to, to finance these, infra, these infrastructures uh, in, in the making. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think that uh, ESCO Malawi is doing really well, and I think that uh, you are going to see a lot more from your organization in the next five years. Co correct. Uh, for, for now, we are preparing new projects with the African Development Bank. I told you about the, the Malawi Trist Access Project being financed by the old bank. This is uh, uh, a last mile connections, about 180,000, but now we need to upscale. We have a number of about 356 sites, peri urban sites. People have built good houses. They need to be connected. So we are engaging the African Development Bank with a package of about uh, 100 million, 100 million US dollars to finance these 356 uh, sites uh, so that we upscale our connections. Uh, apart from that, we have also engaged uh, even the EIB for, for, for additional financing to, to for, for connections and, and what have you, because the mayor project run uh, under the World Bank is ending in June 2024. So what next? We need to uh, up the game and, and, and continue the connections. Currently, we have a backlog of about 60,000 connections dating from 2014, and we are on the drive to clear that, and we are calling it Project CESA. In Malawi, when you call CESA, it means sweeping. Yeah, so we want to sweep all the old, uh, all the backlog and then start afresh and going forward. Well, I wish you and your team well in getting those connections up and uh, reaching the, la the last mile customer. Correct. Thank Correct. you so much for sharing that with us. Thank you so much, Madam. Thank you. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.